As they sat down to eat, Ada's phone buzzed on the table. It was an unknown number. She glanced at it and excused herself to the bedroom to take the call. This wasn't part of the plan, but what she heard on the other end shook her. It all started on a rainy Saturday evening. Ada, a playful but smart 25-year-old, had been planning the ultimate prank on her boyfriend, Kola, for weeks. Their relationship had always been fun, with emotional pranks on each other, but this time, Ada was going for something big, something he wouldn't see coming. The plan was simple but effective. She would fake a pregnancy, not just any regular announcement, but one filled with drama, suspense, and well-timed twists. After all, Kola had always been cool-headed, rarely reacting to her previous pranks. This time, she wanted to get under his skin, just a little. She loved him, of course, but everyone deserves a good scare now and then, right? So, she went shopping for everything she needed to make it convincing. A positive pregnancy test, a small baby, one C, and a note. That evening, she put her plan into action. Kola arrived home around 6 p.m., exhausted from a long day at work. As he stepped inside, Ada greeted him, her face unusually calm. She had already set the stage. Dinner was ready, but the dining table was eerily quiet. Candles flickered gently, and there was soft jazz playing in the background. Kola raised an eyebrow but shrugged it off, thinking she was just trying to set a romantic mood. As they ate, Ada kept staring at him, her heart raising, though she did her best to appear calm. Kola noticed her unusual behavior but chose to remain silent, waiting for her to explain what was going on. After dinner, Ada pulled out the small one seat from behind the couch and placed it on the coffee table. Kola's eyes widened as he looked from the one seat to Ada's face. Ada, what's this? He asked cautiously trying to piece things together. She didn't say anything at first, just handed him the positive pregnancy test. Kola's mouth dropped open. For the first time in their relationship, she saw panic flicker across his usually calm face. Wait, Ada, are you serious? Are you pregnant? Ada nodded, biting her lip to stop herself from laughing. The look on his face was priceless, complete confusion mixed with surprise. Kola rubbed his hands together, pacing back and forth in the living room. But we didn't plan this. I mean, this is... Wow. This is a lot. He stammered, visibly shaking. Well, life happens, Ada said softly, keeping up her act. She folded her arms, watching him intently. Kola was deep in thoughts, trying to process the news. Over the next few days, Ada kept up the act. She bought a few maternity clothes, pretended to have morning sickness, and even dragged Kola to a baby store just to gauge his reaction. The whole time, Kola was a ball of nerves, but he tried to be supportive. As he browsed through tiny baby clothes, Ada noticed how much Kola was getting into it. He was already talking about baby names and decorating a nursery. Guilt started creeping in, but she pushed it aside, determined to see the prank through to the end. Then came the day she had planned to reveal it was all a joke. One evening, Ada invited Kola over for a special dinner, hinting that she had some big news to share. By this time, Kola had grown used to the idea of becoming a dad. He even looked a little excited. As they sat down to eat, Ada's phone buzzed on the table. It was an unknown number. She glanced at it and excused herself to the bedroom to take the call. This wasn't part of the plan, but what she heard on the other end shook her. Ada, this is Dr. Phillips from the lab. We are just calling to confirm the test you did last week. The results are positive. You are indeed pregnant. Her heart dropped. What? No, no, no. That can't be right. It was supposed to be a prank. I'm afraid the test doesn't lie, Dr. Phillips said calmly before hanging up. Ada stumbled out of the room, her face pale. Kola noticed immediately. What was wrong, babe? He asked, genuinely concerned. Her mind raced. Could this be true? 
Could the prank she had set up have backfired so spectacularly? I, uh, I have to tell you something, Kola. She stammered, sitting down across from him. She no longer felt in control. The suspense in the room was thick. Tell me what, he said, leaning forward, his voice tense. It was... it was a prank. I wasn't really pregnant, she confessed, avoiding his gaze. But now, now it's real. Kola froze, his face unreadable. What do you mean? I faked the pregnancy. But then I went for a real test to make sure. And they just called me. The results are positive, she said, her voice barely a whisper. For what felt like hours, Kola just stared at her. Then slowly, a smile crept across his face. And Ada's heart skipped a bit. Wait, what? Kola leaned back and let out a soft laugh. I knew it was a prank from the start. I was playing along the whole time. Ada's jaw dropped. You knew? Of course I know you, Ada. But I guess neither of us expected this twist, he said, laughing harder now. Looks like we are both in for a surprise. The irony of the situation hit her hard. What started as an innocent prank had turned into reality. Ada felt a whirlwind of emotions, shock, fear, excitement, all at once. So, we are really having a baby, Kola said, his voice softer now, as he reached for her hand. I guess so, Ada replied, her voice trembling. They sat in silence for a moment, letting the reality of the situation sink in. And that, my friends, is how a prank can turn into the most unexpected reality. Life has a funny way of turning the tables when you least expect it. So what would you do if you found yourself in others' shoes? If you enjoyed this story, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, comment below and share with your friends. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one. Bye for now.